Phil C. Akinwali is a project management expert and author who has trained thousands of project managers worldwide. He is the founder of Prezion Media, an organization that has trained global Fortune 500 companies and organizations for various professional project management examinations. Phil is a professional speaker, author, trainer, and coach with America's number one expert on leadership, John Maxwell Team. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to play a little game. So everyone else who is from the other areas but your name, of course, doesn't start with this. What would have happened if Steve had stayed transfixed in college and went for a master's degree and went for a doctorate degree and became a professor? How many of you have got iPhones here? <laughs> you probably wouldn't have had an iPhone. I'm sure you wouldn't. And all of a sudden, in some bright blue or black text, Congrats, you've been selected for a survey. We would like to find out, did you enjoy your exam experience? Did you like the venue? Was it clean? Do you like the staff? Just relax. You know, the education system is great, but it has nothing to do with being a great leader. People would have said, oh, you know, Steve didn't go to college. He probably won't amount to much. If you want to be a real success, you need to get along with people. But first of all, you need to get along with who? Yourself. No? Come on, guys. I know you do. Someone has got to know the standard. Anyone? I read, I studied during the class. So by the time the class was over, I had been accumulating my study time. So any time we were done with the class, he'll go back to his hotel room and he'll study. And Jorge says in Spanish, please tell the big Texas Ranger where the money is. It's at the town well. Just remove a block, you'll find the money. At random, anyone, just throw out to me, what does the project manager do on a daily basis? Just tell me one thing. You just continue to excel, but never, never stop growing. OK? This profession is advancing in leaps and bounds, I tell you. Locked in a room with one of the executives, and everyone else who's managing the controls of the project, and they'll begin to ask, why is that control account low? I am the poster child for acquiring certifications. I'll never get tired of them. Why? Because you become irrelevant. Passion. You can't tell me Steve Jobs didn't have passion. Anytime he comes out with that black turtleneck of his and his jeans and he begins to march across the stage, you know that you are going to stay transfixed. Why? Passion. Steve had passion. You see that the scope baseline is mentioned as an input. Why? Because your WBS is part of your scope baseline, OK? However, the part of the scope baseline we're going to work on here is the WBS. And then we break down into our activities. If you just stop at your degree, oh, I've, you know, I've got a mechanical engineering degree, civil engineering degree like me, or electrical engineering, or any of the engineerings, you can't stop there. You can't even stop at a PE anymore. Going forward, moving like this with a 0, 1, 1, 3, moving forward, we call that a forward pass. Last year, I trained roughly 500 project managers. C-level folks, mid-level folks, they need to know about project management because sometimes they need a combination of leadership experience and project management to put out really bad fires or to solve problems or to fill a need. In many organizations, there's a standard for managing projects. I know that Raytheon probably has a standard. I know Boeing probably has a standard. And I know some project managers might adhere to it or deviate from it. Many times, management is like, OK, I'll just do it myself. Or they delegate, and people mess it all up. So once you learn this certification, you begin to become relevant. Turn to the person next to you and say, relevance. Let's tell the person. Relevance. relevance. Do you work as a student? Great, great. How, how was your stay at the company? Did you enjoy it? You learn a lot? Did you get Six Sigma certified, green belt or anything? But did they make you learn about Six Sigma a little bit? Yeah, they, they do. They're always upset. Even if they're alone, they are upset with themselves. You need to get along with yourself. Sky is falling. We're not concentrating on what we need to be concentrating on. Now, if someone begins to yell like that, in your organization, saying the sky is falling, the world is coming to an end. What would you think of that person and what would be done with that person? They'll think he's crazy, right? Now, let me ask you this. Have you got the option of sending an email to your CEO? 
So that's more like qualitative. Now for quantitative risk analysis, what we're doing is we're actually taking this information and we're thinking about the dollar amount as far as the impact, right? It's all about teamwork, I'm telling you. That's what it's all about. I think you're on the low level. Four things, relationships. Relationships, equipping, we need to equip people. Attitudes count the most. Attitude and leadership. So get your mindset aligned. Come prepared tomorrow. We're going to push through. We're going to start learning the meat of the PMBOK guide. Thank you so much for your attention. It's about that time we have to close. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Prezian Media offers real-world project management training, PMP exam training, CAPM training, leadership training, Microsoft project and communications training in Arizona, California, New York, Washington DC, Virginia, London, UK, Canada, and indeed the world. Look for the project management mid-level to C-level book at Prezion.com, as well as other audiobooks by Phil C. Akinwale, including Seven Reasons Why Projects Fail, The No Good Leader, Project VBX11, the Time Machine Project and Project Management Essentials.